Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make a card sketch number 261, which looks like this. New card sketch posted on my website, dawnstampingthoughts.net, every Monday. And this was this, I think this one was a couple weeks ago, but I loved it so much. I made so many cards using this design. So this is the card we're going to make today. Isn't it cute? We're using brand new items. So let's go ahead and get started. So let me give you all the measurements and then I'll show you the cute stamp sets. So the base of the card is your five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter, right in the middle, base card. Then your, this is the gorgeous Dandy Designs designer paper, double-sided. And this will be in the Celebration Mini, which starts on January 5th. And it's a big pack of designer paper. And they're really, really awesome designs and colors. So pretty. So, but this piece is cut at 3 and 3 fourths by 5. And then you're going to cut two pieces of the Pale Papaya and the Fresh Freesia. These are both cut at 3 fourths by 3 and a fourth. <laughs> 3 fourths, so it's almost an inch right? Three fourths by three fourths long. And you'll need them both the same size. So pale papaya and fresh freesia. And then I cut out the circles already. This is the stitch stylish shape dies in the circle. This one is about two and five eighths size. And then your scallop and your straight edge are from the layering circle dies. And those are right here. So I have those dies. This is the stitched the stylish shapes, right? Yeah, this has got the stitched edge around the edge. And then these dies right here, let me give you the scallop edge size. This is approximately two and three fourths. And then this one, the pale papaya is gonna be a little bit bigger. Two and seven eighths, maybe almost three inches. And then I have some scrap. We're gonna die cut these little hearts out, all right? And then also some scrap for the, um, the little conversation bubble. So cute. All right, so let's go ahead and stamp our goose first. Okay, so we're gonna be stamping the Silly Goose stamp set. Isn't it adorable? It looks like the Aflac goose, doesn't he? So we're gonna stamp this cute little goose that's holding the banner, says thanks. And then for the Love Ya, it's right here, and this is in the conversation bubbles. This also has a die for this stamp set. So you can get this in a bundle and save 10%. And these catalogs, the Celebration Mini and the January through April slash May 2023 catalogs will start on January 5th, okay? So we're just giving you a little sneak peek. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and stamp our goose on this piece of Basic white with the circle. I'm just looking for another color piece of, let me use this piece here. So I can see where I'm stamping a little bit better. So I'm gonna use the Memento ink because we're gonna use the Stampin' Blends. And on my, my Silly Goose stamp set is in photopolymer, which is awesome. I'm gonna stamp my goose right in the center of my circle, just like that. And then I'm gonna color him it's pretty easy to color. I'm using two colors. I'm using the pale papaya in the light and the dark, and then also the smoky slate in the light. So first we're gonna take the pale papaya in the dark, and I'm gonna use the brush tip first. I'm gonna color the sign with the thanks. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna color in the edges of my thanks, the sign or the banner that he's holding with the dark pale papaya, and then I'm gonna color the dark along the bottom edge of the banner and then do the right-hand side of the banner. And then I'm gonna take my bullet tip of my Stampin' Blends and I'm gonna color in his little beak and his feet. Then we're gonna take the light pale papaya and we're just gonna blend in the thanks with the dark papaya that we just colored in. So we're just gonna finish coloring in the banner. And I'm gonna blend out those edges with the dark, with the light marker. Just like that. 
Isn't it cute? All right, then we're going to take our smoky slate. Now, this is totally optional. You can take the smoky slate and ground him, but I didn't on my samples, but I'm going to do it on this one. Let's do that. So I'm going to take my brush tip, and I'm just going to add a little smudge of the smoky slate at the bottom. So he's like standing there on ground. And then I'm going to take the bullet point, and I'm going to outline not really outline, I'm going to inside line, I guess. I'm just going to follow the body of the, the goose on the inside of the stamped image. The thing with stamping anything that's going to be white, like a snowman or this goose, you want the goose to be white, but you don't have to color him. But if you don't color him, then he's going to be like he's not finished, you know? So... You can take the smoky slate, and I really like to use the pool party, the light pool party, and just add a little shadowing, usually around the outside edge. But with the goose, I'm going to do the smoky slate on the inside edge. So you can see, doesn't that look good? All right, so let me go ahead and do that first, and then we can die cut everything out at the same time. So this is the Love Ya, and that's from the Conversation Bubbles right here. And then I'm going to use this little, um, like a, a little bubble over his head that is going to cut that shape out. So he's like, let me show you the finished card again. So you can see here, like he's saying, love ya, thanks. <laughs> so we're just going to stamp the love ya first. And then I think it's a little bit easier to position that die around that after we stamp it. All right, let's grab our die cut machine. I got my mini today. There's a mini die cut machine that's going to be on promotion for during celebration when you join Stampin' Up. And if you want to join my team, I would love to have you join my team. But there's a blue little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. It's called Boho Blue. And you, there's actually three options to join during celebration, which starts on January 5th. If you're interested and if you have any questions, please just reach out to me, call me, email me. We can set up a time to chit chat. I would love to talk to you about joining Stampin' Up. All right, so we're gonna use the platform number one and we're gonna use our two plates, acrylic plates. And I'm gonna grab my little conversation bubble, which is this one right here. And we're gonna die cut out the love ya. And I want it kind of like at an angle because you can tell on the card he's over here to the left of the little bubble. So I just wanted to position it so it's kind of like angled that way. And then we're going to go ahead and die cut that out. Let me straighten that out again. There we go. And the little mini die cut machine is perfect for these little shapes. You can even do the circles. I think this is a three inch plate. Oh, it's actually a three, three and a quarter ish. So you can cut up images up to three and a quarter in size. So that's really nice. All right. So now let's cut out some parts, which are also in this conversation bubbles. And I really need, and there's two of them actually in this die, so it's really nice. So I'm going to use one set of the hearts with the Fresh Freesia. And then I'm going to use the other set in the Pale Papaya. I need two of the Pale Papaya, and then I only need one of the Fresh Freesia. But they cut out two, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut them both out, which is awesome. And you'll see what I mean by when I put the card. Why I need only two papaya. Oh, one came out over here. Aren't they cute? So even though the die is together, like the hearts, they cut separately. Okay. You see that on the back? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and move our machine. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my little hearts here. Sometimes they pop out, sometimes they don't. You just take your... Um, take your pick, or even a toothpick would work. Just poke that in the back side of your die. Hopefully you can see those little tiny holes on the die. That's what those are for. So you're just going to take your little pokey tool, or your take your pick, or whatever, and just poke it out, and then it just comes right out, just like that. Okay? So when you see those little holes on the back, it's not like a manufacturer mis 
you know, production. It's, that's what they're supposed to be there for. All right, now let's go ahead and put our card together. We're going to first put our strips. I have my pale papaya, which I'm going to put that down with the stamp and seal. So I'm just going to apply that to the back. And then on my fresh freesia piece, I'm just going to add two dimensionals, one on each end. So it's going to give it some dimension on that layer. And then on the front of my designer paper, let me just move this over here. We're going to take our pale papaya piece. Remember, this is three fourths by three and a quarter. And I'm going to apply it. I don't know. How far do you think this is down? Let me see. Let me measure this down so I can give you. No, about one. So I went up about a one and three fourths of an inch up from the bottom. It's a give and take. It's, you know, it just, I want it down lower because of that conversation bubble. So you don't want it too high is what I'm saying. So kind of go low. I don't know. I guess about right there looks good. But I'm going to put it more to the left with the pale papaya. And then I'm going to put my fresh freesia strip overlapping the pale papaya. But I'm going to put it more onto the right side then. So I'm going to offset it just a little bit. And then we're going to take our goose. I already did cut the circles out for the goose. So I'm going to layer these three pieces together with the stamp and seal. The fresh freesia scallop. And then the pale papaya. Just a little edge on that. And then for my dimensionals, I'm going to put three dimensionals along the top edge. Of my goose on the back side. So here's my top. I'm just going to put three dimensionals fanning around the top edge because this one's already got dimensionals and it's going to kind of layer on that. So I don't want it popped up even more. Okay, so we're going to take our goose and we're just going to layer that right over top of those two strips, making sure to leave enough room up here for the love ya that we die cut out. Let me grab another dimensional for that. And we're also going to put that towards the top like we did the goose, because this part is going to stick to the card. And then this part's going to come down onto the goose like he's saying that. <laughs> All right, now we're going to take some liquid glue and I'm going to put, this is where I was saying I needed two Pale papaya hearts right here. Let me grab those back in here. Okay, so two pale papaya and one fresh freesia. So I'm just going to take my liquid glue and I'm just going to dot three dots of glue. Two on the fresh freesia and then one on the pale papaya right there. And then we're going to take my take your pick tool. And there's a little putty end down here, which is nice. And I'm going to grab my pale papaya. So I'm putting the opposite color on the strip. So this one's fresh freesia, so it's going to get two pale papayas of the hearts. And then there's enough room for the fresh freesia heart over here on the pale papaya. Just like that. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh. Absolutely love it. So then that one's for another card. All right, so then we're going to grab our base. And we're going to put adhesive on the back. And then this is going to go on to the front. And of course, the card base is white already, the basic white, so you can sign in the inside. You don't have to add another piece, but isn't it cute? Oh, we could add the heart to that, couldn't we? Let's do that. Since we have an extra heart, we could add the heart to the inside. I think this heart's upside down. Yeah. We'll just put a little heart down here at the bottom on the inside. So then nothing's going to waste. It's great. Okay, so there's the card. Do you love it? Oh my gosh, I love that goose. All right, let me show you the other cards again really quick. I wanted to make some thank you notes, so these were perfect. Aren't they awesome? They're all the exact same, except for this one's got the purple heart inside now, but they're all so cute. So let me know if you have any questions. Also, if you need the catalogs, let me know. I can send you them out. All right. I just need to know. Email me, text me, whatever. Okay. All right. Have a great day and thanks for stopping by. We'll see you. Bye.